Coming up on Ask the Tech Guy, Darla has some mysterious files on her hard drive. We'll help decode the mystery next. This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Hello, everybody. Leo Laporte here. Another thrilling, gripping edition of Ask the Tech Guy. Our question comes from Darla in Montana. It's kind of an interesting question, but I think we've got the solution. She writes, four years ago, I had several external hard drives on which I had numerous home videos, HD and standard, and pictures backed up. When I changed computers, there were several files I couldn't open all of a sudden. It seems that the extensions for these files were MTS, M2TS, and so forth. She'd get the message, this file isn't playable. That might be because the file type is unsupported. The file extension is incorrect. The file is corrupt. The old computer, she says, was on Windows Vista, then upgraded to Windows 10. The new computer is Windows 10. What's going on? Well, fortunately, this is fairly easy. And if this happens to you, uh, I've got a, a pretty quick and nearly failure-proof way of figuring this out. But first, you have to understand how Windows works. The Windows keeps a database of all the file extensions it knows about, .doc, .exls, .exe. Those are those three letters that follow a file name, period, .exe, period, .exe, or .exe. And Windows determines the file's purpose and type from those three letters. So as a result, you know, if it, it if it looks at a file, you double click it to open it. The first thing it's going to do is look up that file extension. And then if it's associated with the program, it'll launch that program and tell the program. And by the way, Darla wants to open this file. If you are in a system, though, uh, that doesn't know about that extension, you're going to get the same error message Darla got. I don't know what to do with this. Probably, in her case, the difference was the programs she'd installed. Every time you install a new program, part of the installation process is telling Windows, oh, and I handle MTS and MT2S files and that kind of thing. In her case, I'm almost certain she mentioned it was a hard drive with videos on it, that this is an MTS file, a particular kind of MTS file, that comes along with AVCHD video files. There is a problem sometimes with these three-letter extensions. Often, there are, I mean, there are only so many, right? Often, there's an overlap. So sometimes you'll get an extension, a DBX or something, that can be used in a variety of different programs. Then you'll have to do a little detective work to figure it out. But the first thing I do is I Google, and this is what I did, Googled MTS, and I found a website, uh, and there are a lot of them, that says, oh, yeah, that's part of the AVCHD file system. When you record on a lot of camcorders, uh, on a lot of uh, video cameras, on a lot of camera phones, uh, even digital still cameras, if it's recording AVCHD, you'll notice in the folder it's got a several different files. One of them is MTS. Probably what happened, Darla, is on your old computer, you had a program installed, maybe it was your video editor, maybe it was a movie player, that handled those extensions, and you haven't installed it on the new system. Well, good news, there's a free program that handles almost every kind of video file and video extension, and that's called VLC Player. We love this program. It was, uh, I always say it was written by French schoolboys. It actually was originally created at a French university. It's now a free open source program that's widely used. You can get it at videolan.org, V-I-D-E-O-L-A-N.org. Download the VLC player. You'll actually be glad to have it. I know on a Windows machine you have multiple different uh, media players, but VLC is the smartest. It can handle a lot of different formats, including those MTS files. Now, they may have been support files, but if they actually contain video, you just open it with VLC and you'll be able to play it back. And best of all, you can convert it with VLC into another file format that maybe you prefer. I generally uh, like to do that if I have 
uh, a variety of different file formats for video. I'll use a program like VLC Player or another great one from, from France called Handbrake, uh, from handbrake.fr, to take those files and convert them into kind of a lingua franca. My favorite right now is H.265. It gives you the, uh, the smallest file size with the highest quality playback. So it's a, it's a great file format for almost all your videos. And if you've got H.265 file, files on your drive, usually .mp4, um, you should be able to play them back with almost anything. So if there's data in them, and there probably is, VLC player will play it. And if you want, you can ask VLC player to convert it to MP4 so that you won't have to, you know, you can play it in anything you want. Great question, Darla. It happens a lot, and I'm glad we can help us solve it. Now, let's talk about our advertiser, LastPass. You only need one master password, and LastPass takes care of the rest. We use it at Twit. Their business lineup includes single sign-on technology and goes beyond standard two-factor authentication. They call it MFA, multi-factor. uses biometrics, geolocation. And another great reason, the LastPass security challenge. It'll scan all your passwords, show you exactly which passwords are putting you at risk, and help you fix them. Visit LastPass.com slash Twit to find out how they can help you, lastpass.com slash twit. If you have a question for me you'd like to see on Ask the Tech Guy, easy enough, just email asktheTechGuy at twit.tv. I'm Leo Laporte. We'll see you next time for another Tough Tech Conundrum. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email asktheTechGuy at twit.tv.